based on median age, the U.S. Census Bureau reported today on which counties in Nevada had the oldest populations and which had the youngest. The U.S. median age ticked up from 37.6 on July 1st of 2013 to 37.7 on July 1st of 2014. The counties in Nevada with the highest median age on July 1st of 2014 were Story at 54.9, Nye at 51.9, and Esmeralda at 50.4. This means that half the population was older than this age and half younger. The youngest counties, that is, those with the lowest median age were Elko at 33.4, Humboldt at 35.2, and Lander at 36.4. While the nation aged, one county in Nevada became younger, White Pine. Nationally, non-Hispanic single-race whites was the largest group in 2014 at 197.9 million. Hispanics were next with a population of 55.4 million, followed by blacks at 45.7, Asians at 20.3, American Indians and Alaska Natives at 6.5 million, and Native Hawaiians and other Pacific Islanders at 1.5 million. In Nevada, the populations of each group were as follows. Non-Hispanic single-race whites at 1,462,027 race alone or in combination groups. Blacks at 299,942. Asians, 291,247. American Indians and Alaska Natives, 75,350. Native Hawaiians or other Pacific Islanders, 39,775. And Hispanics at 790,034. Platform to Employment, or P2E, is a nationally recognized program addressing the specific needs of long-term unemployed workers, has opened its online application for its second class for residents. The program is accepting applications from individuals who have been unemployed 27 or more weeks or have exhausted their unemployment benefits. Those who meet the criteria are encouraged to apply immediately as seating is limited and applications will not be accepted after July 15th. The course is free and is scheduled to begin in late July. For more information, go to platformtoemployment.com. The unemployment rate in the metro areas declined in May, just as the statewide rate saw a decrease. The Las Vegas area rate fell to 6.6%, while the Reno Sparks area is down to 6.1%. The Carson City rate realized the largest year-over-year -year decline of 1.4 percentage points, registering at 6.9% in May. This is the first time since 2008 that all three metro areas have seen an unemployment rate less than 7%. The La Concha Motel lobby in Las Vegas has become the latest addition to the Nevada State Register of Historic Places. The State Register is a list of properties in Nevada that reflect the history and traditions important to Nevadans. In 2006, the La Concha Motel became a casualty of the constant development pressure and fast pace of reconstruction along the Las Vegas Strip. However, the salvage, relocation, and rehabilitation of the La Concha Motel lobby at its new location on North Las Vegas Boulevard has become a bittersweet success story for preservation. The La Concha Motel lobby now serves as the visitor center lobby for the Neon Museum in Las Vegas. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Hi, this is Josh Osborne with Great Computer Deals, located right here in Pahrump, Nevada. It's time for another quick tutorial. Whenever you'd like to use the internet, you see your first web page automatically come up. This first page is called your startup page. Most folks prefer websites like Google, Yahoo, or MSN. What if you need to change your startup page? Or worse yet, another program change your startup page without your permission. What do you do? General. Under General, you will find a section called Homepage. There a website address will be listed. Type in your own custom address and you're set. Are you still having issues with your computer? We can help you. Come down to our store. We're located on Highway 372 across from Big O Tires. Or give us a call, 775-990-8833. Let's join Courtney Salmon with Weekend Sports. The Pahrump Connie Mack 16U baseball team lost to the Las Vegas Patriots 13-4 on Tuesday. They will be traveling to Arborview High School in Las Vegas on Saturday to play the Las Vegas Toros. The 14U team beat the Las Vegas Longhorns 18-4 on Monday. They play tomorrow at Ian Deutsch Park against the Las Vegas Patriots. This Saturday at the Thomas & Mack Center, Tough Enough is hosting another Future Stars of MMA event. Pack the Mac is a free fight. You can print tickets out at toughenough.com. Local fighter Andrew Gonzalez will be on the card for the 135 weight class. Doors open at 530 and fights start at 6. Good luck, Andrew. 
In the FIFA Women's World Cup, the United States soccer team defeated Colombia on Monday 2-0. The first half of the game was frustrating for both teams, with the halftime score being 0-0. U.S. player Alex Morgan finally broke through with a score, and the second half continued to be in the favor for the United States. Two Colombian players received red cards, including the goalie, forcing them both to leave the game. Carly Lloyd made the second goal by a penalty kick, helping solidify their victory. The United States' next opponent is China. They play tomorrow at 4.30 p.m., and you can watch it on Fox Sports. The Tom Brady appeal of his four-game suspension on Tuesday lasted about 10 hours. Brady's lawyer tried to claim there was no scientific proof that Brady had deflated the footballs in the AFC Championship game against the Indianapolis Colts. A decision is not expected to be made until late next week. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Solomon with News 46. Thanks, Courtney. The Supreme Court today upheld the nationwide tax subsidies underpinning President Barack Obama's health care overhaul, rejecting a major challenge to the landmark law in a ruling that preserves health insurance for millions of Americans. The outcome was the second major victory for Obama in a politically charged Supreme Court test of his most significant domestic achievement. And it came the same day the court gave him an unexpected victory by preserving a key tool the administration uses to fight housing bias. When we return, we'll have your weather with Noah Began. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Thursday, June 25th. Today we had sunny skies with a high of 106 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 102 degrees. Winds were coming from the south-southwest today at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 10 miles per hour. The evening today was 9, which is very high. Humidity was at 6% today. Sunrise was at 529 this morning. And the record high in 1970 was 115 degrees. Well, tonight we'll have mostly clear skies with a low of 76 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 78 degrees. Winds will be coming from the north this evening at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 13 percent. Sunset will be at 8.07 this evening and the record low in 1941 was 55 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 109 degrees and a low of 76 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 7 miles per hour with gusts up to 12 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 8 percent. Sunrise will be at 529 tomorrow morning and the UV index will be 10, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast, we'll have a mostly partly cloudy week with no clouds showing up this Saturday or Monday. The National Weather Service has also issued an excessive heat warning effective now until 9 p.m. on Saturday. Your high temperatures will be starting off at 109 degrees tomorrow. That'll be going up hitting 110 degrees this Saturday. That'll be dropping quickly to 106 degrees on Sunday and then rising a little bit to 107 degrees on Monday. That'll be pretty constant through the rest of the next week. Your low temperatures will be starting off at 76 degrees tomorrow. That will be slowly rising to 78 degrees by next Wednesday. Thanks so much, Noah. Yeah, the heat has uh, the heat warning was predictable. Actually, it's been getting up there in triple digits, and at least it's cooling down a little bit at night. We want to let everybody know that if you ordered a DVD from Pahrump Valley High School's graduation for this year, they are ready to be picked up here at KPVM TV. You can give us a call at 727-9400. That's 727-9400. And if you haven't ordered a DVD, you can do that by calling that same number, 727-9400. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46 from everyone up here at KPVM-TV. And, of course, KA's Country Radio 95.9. Have a great night.